there are so many news media outlets that are not doing well and not reporting so many things that is going on in Nigeria, especially the persecutions of Christians in the north. Now, according to the Open Door, which explains and um, which talks about the persecution of believers or Christians all around the world, Nigeria is currently number seven where Christians are being persecuted mostly by Islamic oppression. In the northern part of the country is the most scary place for you to profess your faith, defend your faith, live your faith, share your faith with others. Because if you try to do so, they will kill you. Because Muslims, they are not tolerant to other religion. They want to oppress you. Whenever you have Muslims, you will always see oppression from them. They want to dominate. They want to conquer. They want to oppress people. Now, another attack was launched by Islamic extremists and open door USA.org. They made a publication. And the title of the publication is Another Attack in Nigeria. Lord, how long? Don't forget that Deborah Samuel was just born, was just killed and burned to ashes by those dogs and animals calling themselves human beings. And let me say this. That is the foundation of their religion. Bad tree cannot produce good fruit. Muhammad was a bad tree, and the result of the fruit of Muhammad are the Muslims, which are bad fruits. After a long day of work, villagers in the northern town of Kautikari had begun to settle in for the night. And when the gunman burst into the town, within seconds, people were sprinting to the forest trying to evade the bullets flashing by after the firefight died down the villagers returned to their face and houses to see who and what had survived the attack fleeing extreme violence is a way of life for these nigerian christians in the north the most recent attack happened on may 4 as islamic state of west african province Fighters attack Kautikari. The terrorists entered the village in the early evening and shot indiscriminately at men, women, and children. Eight people were killed. Kautikari is a primary is primarily a Christian community that has endured multiple attacks on Boko Haram Iswap in recent months. In January, another Iswap attack left three villagers dead and some multiple people kidnapped. Two churches were burned and all, and all too common sight in the north. Believers in Nigerian communities like Kwarekari live in a constant danger from Boko Haram, Iswap terrorists. Though Christians are not the only targets of terrorist attack, they are often targeted for their faith in these incidents. So we see much of attacks being going on. And most of the times, you do not get to hear this from BBC, CNN, and many other foreign news outlets. When Muslims were being attacked, a lot of people were protesting. Celebrities, footballers were protesting. The reason why they report the ones going on in China because they consider them to be minority. When, you know, here in Nigeria, many people have died in the hands of Islamic terrorists. And many people have died trying to publicly live their faith. One of the scary places to be a Christian, to express your Christian belief, is in the North. And I hope our government will step up and do what is right about this issue. This is a barbaric wickedness from the hands of those who profess to be people of peace. And let me say this to you. If you are supporting the killings, you are just like wicked animals. Killing should never be a way of life for those who profess to be a religion of peace. The Bible tells us that all that will live godly in Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution. 
Many believers, sincere believers, those that have put their faith in Jesus Christ alone, they are aware that when it comes to standing up for their faith, they will be persecuted. And that is what we see going on in the northern part of Nigeria. Thank you for taking your time to watch this channel and God bless you.